Authority Local Weather Forecast. And looking right outside on our RV World Yuma Skycam, it's a dark night, pretty breezy out there and staying warm and also humid. So we still have plenty of that moisture just lingering around. So let's go ahead and take a look at our radar because this is what I'm tracking. So we're still starting to gradually clear out from these storms and it's continuing to move up to the northeast. But looking a closer look right here in Yuma, again, starting to gradually clear out. We have a little bit of that lingering clouds and moisture and still has some slight chance where we can experience some showers and thunderstorms again tomorrow, but it's still looking pretty light overall. And also earlier today, we had multiple um, flash flood warnings. There's still a watch in place, but it's staying in Flagstaff and it actually expired early for Yuma counties and even for Tucson and Phoenix. So we're starting to clear on out as we go into tonight and as fall starts to approach. But going into later tonight, we're going to see those winds pick up just a little bit. So around 10 o'clock, seeing those winds start to strengthen just a little bit. So we could see some gusts peak up to 20 miles per hour in some areas, but still staying fairly light. And as tomorrow, as we go into tomorrow morning, we'll see those winds continue to calm down, but still feel a little bit of a light breeze. But again, nothing too, too gusty out there. Just will have a light breeze. So hopefully it'll make us feel a little bit cooler with that lingering moisture. Now on our air quality index presented by Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. We have moderate for Calexico, but everywhere else looking pretty good. So not a whole lot of concerns there. And again, looking at our dew points as of right now, so a plenty of moisture within our air and still staying pretty muggy out there. So we're hanging in the 70s for Yuma County is a little bit drier for Imperial Valley, but regardless, we're still going to have that lingering moisture going into tomorrow before we start to dry out. So speaking of tomorrow, it's going to be the first day of the fall season and we're starting off on a warm note. We're going to be in the low 80s and seeing a lot of feeling a lot of that moisture. So it's going to be warm and sticky to start off the first day of fall. And that's not all for the upcoming days. Well, we're really going to heat up. So here's a look on our eight day forecast sponsored by Polar Cooling. Tomorrow's the first day of fall and we're going to be near that triple digit marks. But as we go into later this week in the upcoming days, Look at those temperatures rise. We're going to be above normal in Monday. 108 is what I'm tracking and even our overnights are going to be hanging out in the 80s and upper 70s. Imperial Valley will also have that warming trend coming in place, so we're not going to escape the heat just yet. Back to you, Adam. Melissa, thanks. Coming up next.